like we're recording, by the way. Hi. We're at the airport and I've just been called Sir. Admittedly from behind, but even so, it's never good, is it? Well, that means you have a man bun, more or less, doesn't it? And what are you going to say? <laughs> man bum? <laughs> Maybe. Well, there's no way I'm getting mistaken for a man from behind. So, I don't even know what the time is. Half past seven? Ten to eight. Ten to eight. And we've been up since twenty past five. But we made it to the airport. And we never did tell you about the gin tasting. I took some pictures which I'll put in, but it wasn't the sort of thing I could record, you know, it was a proper, you know, he gave us a really nice talk and lots of information, yeah. it's not, you couldn't record it, that's it was, his it business, was, you know. Yeah. But it was really good. I really enjoyed it, I, apart from the aniseed one, that was just I disgusting. was sat next to a Scottish lady who also knew everything about gin oh, and yeah. needed the man that was running it to know that. So there was an awful lot of name dropping about gala dinners and I was like, just shut up. <laughs> but yeah, from the, the pictures, cheese was good as well. <laughs> the cheese was lush, and from the picture I'll put in, you can see we got like a, a tiny shot glass with a bit of gin in the bottom, and then there was different tonics. And he talked a lot about the different mixers, which was interesting. Yeah. So, in my basket on Amazon, our I, baskets have now got a lot of gin in them. Yeah. I've got a bottle of gin and 24 bottles of mixer. What was your favourite in the end? You like the Pickerings one for Rob, didn't you? That had the sort of spicy. I like the Pickerings one as well. Pickerings original 1947 or 46. 46, 47. That's good. Post-war. Um, um, and my favourite was Rock and Rose. And again, they sell that on Amazon. Yeah, and apparently it's from the um, the smaller producers themselves. It's not diddling them. Yeah, it's a good way for them to buy it. So. Yeah, it was nice to know you can buy it from Amazon and the small producers still get the, the cash. It's just a logistics yeah. step for them, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, rather than schlepping a bottle of gin home from the airport, which they didn't sell in the airport as it turned out anyway, Yeah. I'll have it delivered to my house tomorrow. And the place we went is um, 56 North. So if you want to find them, they're at 56 North Edinburgh. They're all really lovely people. They're stores. really nice. So it's a, it's a bar, um, and they have a couple of small stills actually in the bar, which is fun. Hopefully you can hear us over the announcements. Um, but yeah, if you're in Edinburgh, I'd really recommend it. We always try and do something not knitting related when we're here. So this year was the gin tasting. Last year was the walking tour. Was that the year before? That was the year before. Last year we had afternoon tea. Last year we did afternoon at tea at Hollywood. The year before was the walking tour. And I think next year I might drag Jenny to the museum because I saw drag. I saw that Mairead, because she got stuck in Edinburgh. Mairead, yeah. hi Mairead. Um, she's Vinka56 on Instagram. She went to the museum and put pictures up and I was like, oh, what's that? What's that? I haven't seen one of those. Yeah. So, yeah, I might do that next year. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. So yeah, we had our lazy morning, we did the previous part one recording, and then we ate everything that was left over in the fridge, um, hopped on the bus and we went to Edinburgh Fabrics, which isn't far from where the gin tasting was. And I was trying to find some fabric to sew up that Tilly in the Buttons Eden coat, and they did have some cotton drill, but it was all slightly funny colours. It wasn't your colours, I could have managed. Yeah, so I think, it wasn't your I think I'll just order some oil. Not composty enough. Do I mean oil cloth? Waxed, waxed cotton. Mm. Waxed cotton is what I mean. Um, and do that instead. But you found some nice fabric, didn't you? Well, I found fabric that Erin will love. So obviously they had all the high-end proper tartans. And then they had the 100% polyester tartan. <laughs> and... Um, her favourite colour is blue at the moment, so there was this very vivid blue tartan with uh, gold thread running through it. Classy. So you bought some of that. Very classy. She's going to love it. She will. <laughs> and I would have, they had so much proper Scottish and northern tweed and boiled wool and it was so beautiful and it was all about £50 a metre. But they had a, uh, like a basket of scraps of offcuts. 
So for £20, I bought a scrap of Harris Tweed. It was like a purple... Oh, half a metre. Yeah. Oh, hang on a sec. Pause for the announcements. May I have your attention, please, for those passengers travelling to Dublin with Aer Lingus on flight EI3251. This flight will board through departure gate number 29 and no other gates as previously advised. Yeah. There we go. So I bought an offcut. Um, yeah, like a purple and cream herringbone. Yeah, it's nice. And I think I'm going to make... I think I'll have enough to get a project bag and a notions pouch out of it. Because my notions pouch is a bit limp. Well, if you need lining fabrics, you know where to come. I do. Thank you. I have the odd bit of fabric. And then we went on an unnecessarily lengthy <laughs> <laughs> quest for travel sickness pills. I wasn't having her throwing up next to me. I mean, I was only been sick a bit on the way up here, and it, yeah, I didn't it, inconvenience you. No, but it could have been worse, and you were miserable. I, I don't like it when you're miserable. I felt awful. We were coming into land, and I was just sort of starting to pack my knitting up, and the lovely lady in the seat next to me started talking to me about knitting and how her mother crochets, and she wishes she could manage it. And I just said, "Oh, well, everyone's terrible to start with. It's just a bit of practice, really." And, um, you know, if you can drive a car, you can knit. And she said, no, no, I suffer from multiple sclerosis and my fine motor control is completely gone. At which point a wave of nausea overtook me and I had to excuse myself and throw up in a paper bag. <laughs> so I was like, terribly sorry to hear about your life-limiting illness. I need to be sick. So, yeah, I think that was just, it was just classic me, really, wasn't it? She probably thought that was an overreaction. Yes, it wasn't a comment on her affliction. I did feel bad. Yeah. Anyway, it was nice to have a chat with someone. But, so I was sick. Um, and then we didn't try and find but tablets just, until Sunday. But you just felt rotten until... You ro felt rotten for ages, because you do after being ill and travel sickness. I think it's because if I'd have sat down for a bit, we'd, I'd probably have been all right, but we got straight off the plane, straight onto a tram, and I had to sit sideways on the tram. Anyway, I've got travel sick pills, but in order to get them... We had to bisect Edinburgh from the top of one hill to another, up and down 48 million steps, which I'll insert here, and it nearly killed us. Yeah. But mission accomplished. Yeah. And then I was determined to get to the gin, though. We were so the I wrong side of the centre for the gin, so we had to steam it back well, again. Yeah, because the gin was about three seconds away from the fabric, fabric shop. shop. But the pharmacies on the old side of the town are all shut on a Sunday. Including Boots. And yeah. I'm sure you used to be able to buy travel sick tablets just off the shelf, but they're an over-the-counter job now. Anyway. My main beef is that you go to an airport and you can't buy travel sickness tablets at an airport. What is that about? Yeah. Anyway, I've got some. It's ridiculous. And I've eaten my porridge and I've taken my tablet. But yeah, the gin tasting was fabulous. I'll put some pictures in of the Tweedy things that we bought. Mm. And now we're just heading home, really. Yeah. It's Only been a fantastic, delayed. fantastic weekend, though. It really has. We really didn't buy terribly much. Did we show them your pink yarn? We did. We yeah, did. we did that in our pyjamas. You're right, we did. That was part one. Yeah. I still haven't bought any yarn. But never mind, I might order myself a set of interchangeable needles. You have a whole instead. half metre of fabric. I do. <laughs> I mean, she parties hard. I do. I just <laughs> wanton spending. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to head home and I can't see us actually doing any dying when we get back to the house. No. I don't it's going to be, be nearly there. 11, isn't it, by the time we get back? Yeah. But we could go and choose um, the label card on the label paper yeah, yeah staples do that right so i will either before or after this have inserted pictures of what we did yesterday afternoon other than that i think we're going to sign off but it's been fabulous thank you edinburgh yeah because she can't podcast on the plane in case she's throwing up in a bag you don't again, you so. don't need to see me being sick in a bag <laughs> no no one needs that but yeah thank you for watching oh, it has. it's been lovely and again just all the people that we've seen the yeah. people are the best bit. Yeah. Which is just as well, because really, it's not like I've bought any wool. It's terrible, isn't it? That it's like it doesn't matter that we haven't got a massive haul of yarn. 
But then I suppose we're spoilt in that we go to so many festivals through the year now for work. Yeah. That it's not the be all and end all if we don't buy it one. And plus, my back room, <laughs> now that we can talk about it, my back room is where Car Trevian lives. And I can't get to my boiler. The ironing board is inaccessible, which isn't that much of a problem. Um, there are worse issues. Yeah. But Comrade might actually, <laughs> might actually be buried under an avalanche of yarn when playing on his Xbox. It'd be warm. It would be warm. It's very warm in there. Yeah. She's just newly coming to this. Obviously, I've lived this for years. Absolutely. Um, she's just not found the best way to stack it all yet. It's not good. <laughs> right. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you liked us, please give us a thumbs up because it helps other people find us. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and do come and follow us. We are at Cartrev Yarn. We are at the Knit Tea Retreat. Speaking of which, we have one place left for October 2019 in Cardiff, and we have three or four places left for Stratford. Stratford on Avon, 1st and 2nd of June, Knit Tea Retreat. Um, She's Pins and Needles UK. She's out about yarn. And I'll see you soon.